And now, welcome to the new show on the National Geographic Channel, Nature's Fury. Thank you and welcome to Nature's Fury. Here we talk about natural disasters that occur all over the world. Today's subject is volcanoes. Right now, I'm actually standing on the lower part of Mount St. Helens. A volcano, after 100 years of sleep, erupted in 1980. It took the lives of 58 people and caused $1.2 billion of damage. An earthquake at 8.32 a.m. on Sunday, May 18, 1980, caused the entire weekend north face of the volcano to slide away, slowly exposing the partly molten gas and steam-rich rock in the volcano to lower pressure. The rock responded by exploding a hot mix of lava and pulverized old rock towards Spear Lake so fast that it overtook the avalanche in North Face. Usually, the mountain is covered in snow, but today it is only snowy at the crater. As you can see, there aren't many trees around, but they're starting to spring up again and many critters are returning here to this mountain. Now it's time for me to head over to the airport, so stay tuned for an amazing story and reenactment over at the Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. It's raining. Mommy, what's that noise? John, we need to leave now. The water is rising. Oh, we're getting a thousand of viewers here. We're fine. John, we need to leave now. They put a, over 500 missing signs and never found them. Geographic Channel. My name is Gracie Bay and I'm on the beach of the Kilauea Volcano. Kilauea is located on the Hawaii's Big Island and is probably the world's most active volcano, making it the island even bigger every time it erupts. Over here the sand is white, but around a few boulders the sand is black or hard lava that mixes in with the water from Kilauea. Now, here's an amazing reenactment and interview about one terrifying day on the Kilauea beach. Could you please tell me the story of what happened? Well, my brother and sister-in-law and many of their friends went to Hawaii for their yearly vacation and they decided they wanted to go up to see the volcano. So one of my, they drove all the way up the mountain and they got there and one of our friends decided he wanted to get that perfect picture. So he started to go into the water where the volcano was, where the volcano, where the lava has flown down into the water, which is extremely hot, and he went down and he saw a cave, and he wanted to go in the cave to get that perfect picture. But when he went in, the water was boiling hot, and he slipped and he fell into the water. And when he came out, he was all burnt from the lava because it was so hot and his skin was coming off, and they had to get him to the emergency. So someone, they had bottles of water and they were pouring it on him, but it wasn't a pretty sight. And then they went up and they had to go all the way down the mountain until they can get to the ambulance, and then he went to the hospital. And the hospital care was good, but they really needed to fly him here to the Grossman Burn Center, where it took him weeks and months and months to recover. Thank you. What I need to tell you is that the most important part is that there were barricades up, and it says, do not cross this line, do not go over this, don't tri go further, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. And he went over it, and that is when you get hurt. Wow. Wow. Look at it's that. amazing. Wow. Hey guys, look at
look at that sign. It says, extreme caution. Hot lava may occur beyond this point and in the water. Please stay back for your own good. Oh, they just put that there for the dumb tourists. Now come on, let me take a picture of everybody. But honey, you heard the sign, it's too dangerous. Do you see any lava in the water? No, I don't think so. Now come on, say, lava! Ah, no, no, no. Thank you so much for watching Nature Sphere on the National Geographic channel, and be sure to tune in next week on our next subject, earthquakes. I'm Gracie May on Nature's Fury, signing off. Have a happy and safe day.